Hello my dear children. How are you doing today? I welcome all of you with this new video class of class 10 English and the topic that I have brought for you today is a chapter from your first flight. The name of the chapter is The 100 Dresses Part 1. Actually this chapter has been given in two parts and uh, we are going to deal with the first part in this particular video and in the next video that will come out soon I am going to discuss the second part in detail. Okay. So I welcome once again to all of you and I hope you people are uh, keeping fit and keeping fine in this tough times and are ready to learn this new chapter with a new found zeal. So let us get started. Okay. So here we go. I am going to introduce the chapter The 100 Dresses to you. This chapter is actually a, 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 an account, a description of the real life events which took place in the life of the author who has written this particular story. Uh, she in this particular chapter has described, this is a story, so in the story she has described the plight, the condition of a poor girl who is a migrant who has come from Poland and has settled down in America. Her name is Wanda Petronsky and she is ill-treated. Uh, at times she is harassed. At times she is mocked down by, the, uh, by her classmates, by the people, the students of her class. And that casts a kind of an impact on her and that is what the story is about. Now, before I begin the chapter, I would like to ask a question from you. What do you think that should we judge people on the basis of their nationality, on the basis of their language, on the basis of the religion that they follow or on the basis of their characteristics, their behavior, their thought process? What should be our basis of, you know, evaluating the uh, qualities of people? Should we base it on uh, minor points like language, caste, creed, la uh, religion and so on or should we base it on the personal trait, the character of a person. So this is what this topic, this particular chapter deals with. So I am going to start the chapter. I am going to start the chapter and the chapter goes like this. But before I start the chapter, I would tell you something about the author. Okay? The author of this particular, author means the writer. The writer or the author of this particular uh, story is Eleanor Estes. She was an American by birth and was born in the year 1906 and she died in the year 1988. She was basically a, a children's story writer and she has written some very popular books. The books are widely read in America and all uh, the readers of English, English literature, they are aware of this author. The two most famous books written by her are Newbery Honor Books and The Hundred Dresses. So this is, uh, this is the uh, basic uh, you know, information about the author. Now let us move on to the story. The story is about fashion designing. Many of you may take, uh, take it as a future profession. So uh, take interest. This is a very delightful story but then at times it becomes a little poignant when we deal with the way Vanda is treated by her friends, her so-called friends. Okay. So let us see what happens in the story. Okay. In this story, as I told you, the story is about Vanda Petronsky. She is a girl who comes from a poor part of the town. The town is Chicago. She, but let me tell you something about Polish migrants. These Polish migrants, they came from different countries. They were called Polish because of the language that they spoke. Okay. So, these Polish migrants, they came from Russia to America. They settled down in America. Some of them, they came from Austria and others, they came from uh, Germany. So, that is why they were called Russian Poles, German Poles and Austrian Poles, right? So this is how they were called initially when they started migrating to United States of America in the year 1608. And right now it is believed that 0.25% of the American population uh, is Pole, Polish population. So you can well imagine that they substitute a, a 
considerable amount or considerable figure in the total population or demography of uh, <coughs> United States. So these people now what happened when they migrated they faced lots of problems they faced lots of trouble they faced uh, you know uh, different kinds of tough situations which were related to sometimes racial discrimination discrimination which is based on the basis of your looks your physical features and the place that you have come from so this was they were this was the problem that they faced and they were ill treated um, at large so let us see what happens in this particular story vanda petronsky she belongs she comes from a poor part of the town and she is the only student in her class who has a very funny name a funny polish name now the question arises why her name vanda petronsky is considered a foolish name a funny name why because it sounds unfamiliar to american students to american children those they are mostly most of them are called will smith and something like that but here comes a title which is petronsky they have not heard this kind of uh, you can say a strange title before so that is why they consider her a funny person they consider her a funny her name is sound sounds very funny to them okay let us see what happens in the next part it was monday and vanda was not in her seat nobody noticed vanda a quiet girl rarely said something no one knows why she lived at bogens height the place where she lived was bogens height that was a small locality in the big town her shoes were mostly covered with mud as she walked down to school daily so this is the initial description of vanda petronsky she is a polish girl she has migrated from uh, fr uh, from poland and she has come and settled down in america and she has joined the school and when she goes to the school it's very clear from uh, from what we learn in the story that she is not happy at the school why because her friends do not treat her in a proper manner and that is something which uh, disturbs vanda and she becomes a quieter person by the day she becomes quiet and quiet and she becomes she as it is she was a reserved person she was an introvert but then had she got a due and proper support from her american friends classmates she could have come out of her shell she could have become a friendly person she could have understood so many things which happened at the school right but that chance is taken away from her why because this uh, this girl is unable to uh, you know uh, make friends be friend the uh, children of her class and in return the children of her class are also not very friendly towards her so this is the problem which vanda faces when she goes to the school uh, a new school in america and she is a poor girl that becomes clear because she stays and she walk she stays at bogens height and she comes down from bogens height it is uh, it is at a height okay the place is at a height so she walks down to the school every day and by the time she comes to school her shoes are all dirty and that's why she is perhaps not able to make a good impression on the children uh, on the children of her class so that accounts for her shabby appearance okay so this is it let's move on to the next part let us see what happens after this there were some students in the school their names are peggy baddy and so on peggy and baddy were fast friends they were very close to each other and out of the two peggy was a a rising artist she was very good at drawing and she was a smart girl a pretty looking girl so so she was a very popular one in her class not only in her class perhaps she was well known uh, in the school as well the teachers and the students they knew her well so peggy is the girl and she comes from a rich family and she is the one who goes out of her way to harass and insult vanda whenever the opportunity presents itself now what happens uh, students like peggy and maddy they thought of vanda outside the school hours during the school hours the it, uh, things were okay because the teachers came to the class and the class got busy in studying learning new things 
right but once the class got over especially during the break time or when the class was finally over and the school was over and the children went home that was the time when peggy and maddy they decided they thought of disturbing and teasing vanda and they wanted to have fun with her so this was something which is a which was a nasty habit that these children had formed right but then these children they wanted to uh, mock vanda and vanda the poor girl who did not have a single friend in her class was left alone was left forlorn she was very very unhappy as a result of the constant nagging and teasing which never came to an end so on monday when they uh, uh, vanda was absent okay and on tuesday also when tuesday came she remained absent too nobody knew the reason because she never spoke with him, anyone she did not have uh, a single friend so no one knew what had happened to vanda right and let's see what's happens on wednesday the uh, the day has come wednesday has arrived and peggy and maddy thought of vanda this is the first day she remained absent on monday she remained absent on tuesday nobody took notice of the fact that she was absent nobody noticed her absence right but on wednesday uh, peggy and maddy they thought that yes some someone is missing in the class and they realized that it was vanda who was absent both were very good friends and i have told you that both of them were very good friends they were very close bosom buddies right they wanted to have fun with vanda and they thus noticed her absence so this was the reason see look at the reason the shallow reason that they have for noticing vanda's absence and what is that reason she uh, she has remained absent no one knows that but they wanted to mock her they wanted to make fun of her and when they noticed they were looking for vanda they could not find her uh, in the classroom and that's the first time that they realized that vanda had perhaps remained absent for past 2 or 3 days this is what happens this is how they realize okay the now vanda's name was considered funny in room number 13 room number 13 is the classroom where vanda sat with other children and studied so in room number 13 the meaning is all the students of room number 13 of that particular class they could not adjust or understand vanda Pet petronsky why because of her uh, uh, different looks the language the different language that she spoke the different kind of culture that she came from so these are the topics these are the things which made her a stranger in that group that made her an odd one out and that is why they were unable to you know adjust with her okay so this is what happens maggy uh, uh, peggy and maddy they are able to understand that Mag uh, vanda has remained absent and this is the on wednesday on the third day they have noticed that she has remained absent why because they wanted to make fun of her let us see what happens after this now vanda had no friends wore a faded blue clean dress so girls surrounded her in the school yard to make fun of her peggy made fun of vanda the most asking how many dresses she had and how many pairs of shoes vanda would answer a hundred dresses and 60 pairs of shoes all the girls laughed at her so this is how she was mocked by the girls of her class not only the girls sometimes the boys also poked fun at her so what was the reason she looked different and uh, it was peggy who who used to lead all the children when it came to nagging vanda so she was at the forefront all the time uh, peggy okay so now what happens peggy would all uh, peggy and other girls they would surround her from different uh, from all the sides and then what would happen uh, peggy would ask a question a simple question to which vanda would give a very simple answer but that was something which was not well understood that was something which was not well understood by uh, by peggy and maddy and other children and that is why they started laughing at her they started mocking her so what was this question they would simply ask a single question peggy was the one who was the leader of that gang so she would always ask this question that vanda tell me how many dresses do you have and everybody knew 
Everyone knew this fact that Vanda was a poor girl. She came from a poor section of the town. She came from Bogen side, which was, you know, occupied by refugees and the people who had come and settled down in America from other countries. As such, she may not be having the same financial status as others, especially Peggy, who was a rich girl. Right? And then what happened when Peggy asked this question, what do you think Vanda must have felt? She must have felt insulted. She must have felt a bit slighted. Right? And the same thing happened to Vanda. When, uh, whenever Peggy asked this question, she would feel hurt, but she would hide her hurt and answer in a normal uh, way that she had 100 dresses. She would say that she had 100 dresses when everybody knew that she used to walk to the school. She used to come to the school wearing one single dress. She used to wear only one single dress and she used to wash it and even that dress looked a little torn. So how could she have owned 100 dresses was the question which came to the mind of all the children. And as they could not find a satisfactory answer to that, they started disliking Vanda. They started hating her and they started insulting her even more. So this was the problem. Okay. And then the next question that Peggy would ask her was that how many pairs of shoes did she have? To this, Vanda would always reply that she had 60 pairs of shoes. Imagine 60 pairs. How many do you have? I have only 4 or 5 pairs and that's more than sufficient for me. And uh, you, uh, if I talk about children, they might be having maximum 7, 8, 10 pairs, not more than that. Right? Because that's sufficient. Right? But Vanda would say she had 60 pairs of shoes. So that was something which was considered, uh, you know, considered a little strange coming from the mouth of a, uh, of a poor girl. Right? And that is what irritated Peggy and she started walking. And they would all look at her in an impressive manner. They would say, oh wow, you have 100 dresses and 60 pairs of shoes. Wow, that's wonderful. And then the moment Vanda walked away from them, they would start laughing behind her back. They would start screaming. They would howl with laughter. So this was something which happened every day to Vanda. Vanda did not like it, but she could not do anything about this. Now, in the story, the scene undergoes a change. There is a drawing contest which is being organized at the school. Okay, the school is uh, the school is organizing this drawing contest, and I have told you, Peggy was a very good artist. So everybody in the classroom thought they had only one thought in mind, and they unanimously thought they all together thought that it would be Peggy who would win the competition in the girls' section. And in the boys section, there was a boy named Joe who was going to win. So, there was a drawing contest to be held at the school and it was expected to be won by Peggy. Peggy was a good artist. The next day, as they entered the classroom, they stopped short, gasped at the high sketches of dresses all over the room. All were beautiful and in bright colors. So I've made it very short. I've just given a short gist of what happens in this situation. So the drawing contest was going to be organized. And now in this drawing contest, many children had participated, had given their names. And they were supposed to, the boys, they were supposed to draw designer motor, motor boats. And the girls were supposed to draw or design beautiful dresses and gowns. So that was what the competition was about. Okay. And the, uh, they had to submit the drawings to their teachers. They did it. They submitted their drawings. The boys, they drew different patterns and designs of beautiful motorboards. Uh, you know, very trendy motorboards and they gave it to the teacher. Similarly, the girls who had participated, they designed beautiful dresses and they submitted it to their teacher, to their class teacher. And on the day of result declaration, they all came, uh, came to class with palpitating hearts because they thought that God knows they were anticipating uh, the winner and they thought that who knows who was going to win. But a common notion, there was a common feeling in the class that in the girls section, Peggy was going to win. 
and the boys uh, section i have already to told you that zo was the boy who they thought was going the was they he was their best bet you can say now what happens when they entered the boys and girls they hurried up to their classroom they went to room number 13 their class and they entered the room the moment they entered the room they were all awestruck they were all shocked to find that the entire classroom was beautifully decorated by different designs and colors of bright uh, you know dressing gowns bright beautiful gowns party gowns and the entire room the classroom was decorated there were perhaps hundreds of dresses okay that is how the title the hundred dresses has come by okay so hundreds of dresses were the pictures were all you know decorated on the walls of the classroom so everyone was thunderstruck they did not know from where those beautiful dresses had come from and who had put those dresses on the walls the dress the pictures they were not real dresses they were the pictures okay so the children were naturally confused and they were shocked but they found that the dresses had been designed in a very tasteful manner they were so good to look at so glamorous so beautiful the, the best and trendy and subtle colors were chosen for designing those beautiful dresses they were in different hues they were so attractively drawn that even the boys they when they looked at the dresses they started whistling whistling and showing their appreciation right now the time for announcement came the result had to be announced and at the time of announcement the class teacher miss mason she came to the class okay and she announced that jack beagles Jack Beagles won for the boys and Vanda Petronsky had won in the girls section that was a shocking thing nobody had expected vanda could draw they did not even know her properly so they were very very shocked and surprised to learn that she had defeated you know peggy so that was a, the biggest shock for the class students okay so vanda was absent even on that day even on the result declaration day vanda remained absent she was not there in the class so nobody could congratulate her no could nobody could show uh, his or her appreciation to her because she was absent okay so miss mason she announced the names of the winners and vanda was one of them the class was astonished to know that vanda could draw the children clapped their hands and the sketches were all beautiful and different and now what happened the children when they looked uh, when they started clapping their hands they started appreciating the winners they started congratulating the winners okay and they knew that uh, the deserving candidate had won jack beagles among boys and uh, vanda petronsky uh, among girls so this is what happens let us see uh what is the reaction of vanda when she gets to know this news when she comes to know but that is something which is going to take place in the second part of the chapter the 100 dresses part i am going to take out the second part of the video pretty soon wait for that video to uh, to come uh, i will be uh, showing it to you and linking it to you there are certain questions which i have given in this particular video for practice these are important questions from the point of view of the examination i expect you people to answer this question in about 50 words there are four questions the first question goes like this where in the classroom does vanda sit and why vanda sits at a particular she is a backbencher she sits in a corner of the room so that she is not seen by many people and she does not like the limelight the center she does not want to be the center of attraction and that's probably the reason and the, the second reason is she is a timid girl she is afraid she has come from a different country she does not know the people around very well <coughs> so naturally she is a bit afraid so that's possibly the reason why she sits in the corner please read the chapter and answer this question question number 2 in what way was vanda different from other children so i have missed the question mark please <coughs> put a question mark there in question number 2 and answer it question number 3 did vanda have a 100 dresses why do you think she said she did what's the reason why do you think that vanda pretended that she had 100 dresses 
okay and question number 4 how does vanda feel about the dresses game why does she say that she has a 100 dresses so all those 100 dresses were actually designed by vanda petronsky she was the one who was the artist of those beautiful dresses and that's why she had won the prize the first prize she had stood first in that drawing competition why because of her skillful drawing and the beautiful designs that she had created so she was a talented girl this is something which the children missed the children did not understand so i'm uh, i'm just uh, going to relate the details of what happens after this in the second part with this we have come to the end of this particular chapter part 1 and i hope you people have enjoyed and understood the chapter please attempt the questions in your